What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome to our channel. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Microsoft's Xbox One. Xbox One in November outsold the PS4 for the first time in about a year. Uh, Xbox One was moving tons of units and a lot of this momentum had to do with the price drop. Xbox One originally came out at $499, which soon went down to $399 when they removed the Kinect out of the box, and then $349 for this holiday bundle deal that they were doing uh, until January 3rd. And the holiday bundle came with a game system, it came with a controller, and your pick of a game. Sunset Overdrive, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, and I believe uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. You could pick one of those three for the bundles, which is a great bundle, I do have to say that myself. So uh, in November, Xbox Ones were selling like gangbusters, and the truth of the matter is, now that the Xbox One is, is price is going back to $399, I think it's uh, really going to hurt them in the sales department. I think that uh, if I was to make a prediction right now, I would say that Sony is banking on this steep incline to continue with their sales and Xbox Ones to continually decline. Because now people aren't paying less, they're paying the same again for a console that's less powerful and uh, obviously more people want the competition. Now Phil Spencer's a really smart guy. and. Um, I'm not trying to fuel any console wars, but I think that he's really smart with the uh, Christmas bundle. The Christmas bundle got Xbox Ones into the living rooms of gamers, and that's what Microsoft needs. They don't need to necessarily sell a console to every gamer, but if they sell a console to one out of three gamers, or one out of five gamers, and even one out of ten gamers, and those gamers buy eight games a year, ten games a year, that's what they're banking on. They want to have a strong foundation that they can fill with their software. So I think that the 350 bundle worked. I think it did what it was supposed to do for that period of time uh, to get Xbox Ones into the con into the living room of the console gamer. But I think at this point it might be a little late for uh, Microsoft because Sony has such a huge uh, gap in between the sales of Sony's console and Microsoft's console. Sony's at around 15 million. Xbox One is around 7 million. So it's it's going to really be hard for them to bridge that gap. But fortunately for uh, the Xbox One, now they have a much larger install base than they did just a few months ago. And uh, if they're able to push out great first party titles and uh, continue to have incentives for people to buy their consoles, I think that they might do okay. But my, my prediction for right now is that Sony's about to continue this insane steep incline uh, in the sales department and Microsoft is going to see a huge dip in what they're doing right now because now you get an Xbox One, a controller, uh, and I don't know if they're still doing the bundles, but from what I understand right now, an Xbox One, a controller for $399, and that's the same price as a competition. And it's obvious more people are going with the competition. I hope Microsoft does well. I think they will. They can continue to reach out and touch the hearts of their consumers, keep people happy in the Xbox camp, and uh, don't be afraid to fluctuate those prices and throw those deals out to get your consoles in on the ground floor of the American family. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, is it too soon for the Xbox One to go back to $399? Do you think that the Xbox One going back up to $399 is a bad choice? Do you think that the $349 price point was a good decision? And do you think that it should stay at that price point? Do you think it's a viable option for Microsoft to continue to sell them at $349? Do you think Sony is going to be worried at all? about this 399 do you think that Sony's happy just give me your thoughts in the comment section below as always thanks for all the support guys and if you're new to the channel subscribe I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time
Let's go. I'm covered. 